Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we will be going over how to add songs, weeks and stages to Cade Engine. I will be adding the songs and stage from Versus Tabby. First, I will add the song files. Drag the folders with OGG files in them to the songs folder in your Cade Engine folder. Since the latest version of Cade Engine fixed songs using spaces in their names, you can now add spaces in multiple worded songs instead of using dashes. Now, go to preload data, and open up freeplaysonglist.txt. Add your song names in uppercase, with the character name you want your song to feature, and the week number after it. Go to stagelist.txt and add a new line for your new stage. To code in a new stage, go to playstate.hx. Around line 664, add a new case statement that correctly matches the stage you just added to the text document. As base code, I will copy from the stage code, but make heavy modifications later on. We can now build and compile our game. Go to free play, and launch a song that is not one of the newer ones you have added. If you try to launch a song that does not have a chart file, it will crash. We will be going over how to create a chart for your song, so it does not crash. To enter the chart editor, press 7 on your keyboard. Now, you can set variables, such as your player 1 and 2 characters, and stage name. Under the Song Data tab, set the song title to your song name so it can get the correct audio file. Set the BPM input section to your song BPM, and scroll speed to how fast you want your song to be. Press Reload Audio to get the song file, and reset chart to clear out the notes from the current song. I will place some notes just for a little testing. When you are done with charting, hit save so you can direct the file to your songs data folder. If your song does not have a folder in preload data yet, create one. For different difficulties other than normal, put your song name with a hyphen, then the difficulty after it. Normal difficulty does not have a tag after it. Now, we can test our song after compiling again. Three, two, one, go. We will now add our image files in for the stage, and add the appropriate code.
because our background is just one image, we will remove the floor and curtain code. Now, direct the image path for BG to our image. Change the curse stage variable to whatever you want your stage to be called. I will now compile the game again and make sure everything works fine. As you can see, our stage is implemented. If images are offset or at a strange position, you can adjust these X and Y values to make it go to the position you want. Before we add the week for these songs, we will add the menu character that appears in the week menu. I will be using the one that comes with the witty mod. Go to story menu state. Add your weeks, menu character names, and week titles to their appropriate lists like so. The name you input for the week character list must be the same as the name you use later on when adding the menu character. Go to menu character.hx. Add on to the list on line 24 with your new character. I will base my code off the dad menu character. Next, add the appropriate animation code here, with the animation title used in the XML file. Our animation name is called Witty Idol Dance Black Line. Don't forget to add your weak image to Assets Preload Images Story menu. Sometimes files have a difficult time overwriting, so we should delete the assets folder in our export branch. When you build the game, everything should work. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.